What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about an animation movie. It's a foreign animation, I believe it's, it's either Japanese or Korean. Don't quote me on that. But the story of the movie is called Dragon's Quest, Your Story. Dragon's Quest, Your Story. I did not know what this movie was about. I just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to give it a chance, watch it, see what's going on and make a, judge on, and make a judgment on it and decide for myself. So this movie started off basically a, a father and son going to save his mother, so to speak. That's the journey. And this movie is as long as a wild, it's a wild, uh, not a wild, but as long as it, it's just bizarre, you know. It's a bizarre journey. I just say that. Uh, what I like, I love the character. The, the uh, character design, uh, Luca, his father, his his cat pet, his uh, wife, his son, even the monsters are just freakishly bizarre, freakishly uh, strange, you know. And it feel like this just it's like Alice in Wonderland on steroids on LSD, you know. It's like wow, you it just it, it make you like uh. Is the writer and the animator okay? What were they taking when they were animating this? But despite of that, the character design, they are, like I said, freakishly bizarre, scary at some point. That's that's why I like about this movie that it is different, it's unique, it's not like any other anime movie, not even close to Disney. It's like the polar opposite of Disney. So it and like. Let's just talk about it. the horse head on a human body, or in in the form of, of walking and two bi bipedals leg, and an ox, and then you have a bunny with wing and three eyes, is and then you have a, a, a grim reaper that talk. It had three third. It had three eyes too. It was just bizarre. Like it was like, wow, am I? Uh, you know what's going on here? You know, you just like what? And I like the the journey that the our main character takes uh, to to go through to you know to witness his own growing up to go back in time to see his father and to uh, uh, become friend with one the uh, guy he was in prison with and, and then to go back to the uh, where he started so it's have a lot of things going on for this movie is that. It's a journey. That's really, really what it is. It's a journey that this hero go through. This is a classic, but bizarre classic journey. And I love the villain. The villain is so evil, so uh, uh, maniacal, so messed up in our mind. Just even his eyes cross eye. His lip is so wide, like the Joker. He is floating out of the air. He just he he's hell bent on taking the world. Hell bent on bringing. The evilness of this world. So you get to see that in his the way he talked, the way he moved. It's the voice acting was did a wonderful job, and all the voice actors did a wonderful job. Even in, uh, the uh, actor and actress did a wonderful job. This movie is bizarre, and the crazy thing is, the twist is that you are actually watching a video game played by a kid, and that's was the twist. That is the plot twist, and, and all of this, and you're like. I thought I was watching a movie, but it's not. I am watching a freak, a freaking game being played by a kid in the 3D hologram. How's that? You know that that's just mind blowing. It's like a twist. What did I not like? There's not much I did not like. It's that this movie is so the way in Neil it put together is so well done. Is it's, it, it tied the knot together. It go back the circle, just in circle. When he come, when he left, he come back. When he saved, when he wasn't able to save, the you see, you know, it's that's the only thing I could think of. Is just it is long. This movie is long, and you don't see the main character or the villain doing a lot of evil thing or a lot of bad thing to our main character. It just we see them, our main character go on this journey. I just like to see him go against more opponent, more antagonists in the movies. 
but that's just me griping about that. But overall, this movie is such a journey, such a bizarre journey that you it's like having a, a dream that you wish you never experienced because of the weirdness and oddness of the dream itself. Horses on a human bodies and bunny with the eyes. It's just really bizarre. But at the same time, it's so it's still a hero journey. It's so uh, becoming becoming one with oneself and knowing oneself and becoming that person in this movie. So what would the Reina get this movie? I give it a, a um a seven out of ten. I I, I kind of leaning toward an eight. Uh, the only reason I don't get eight is just kind of like it doesn't. It's, I have to watch it again, just kind of you know, kind of refresh and see if I can see some more of it. That's why I give it a seven out of ten. I highly recommend you go watch this movie. You will enjoy it. You will find it kind of, uh, you know, not a not. It's, you will ask your questions like, is this even appropriate for kids? You will have this question. You will see, and you'll be like, WTF? What's going on? What's you know? What? Why do these creatures even exist? You will have those questions, but just sit back and enjoy. And go along with the journey. Again, guys, 7 out of 10. Anyway, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out, alright? Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.